it's August 6, uh, a Tuesday night. This is when uh, the Lake Dubay area has uh, some racing. And I think it's pretty friendly racing, uh, maybe about uh, 10 or 11 boats. It's friendly racing because, um, well, not sure how serious everybody is about it other than just trying to get ourselves <laughs> through the course. There are a couple of guys that really do it well, and uh, I'm not one of them. So these are, we're kind of scattered around, but we have about 10 minutes before we'll get a warning. Five boats still have a little ways to go before uh, they could, can uh, get out to the part of the lake where we're starting. We'll see how they do. People are starting to get a little bit closer in. Still have a few minutes before the signal comes. The wind was uh, nicely brisk an hour ago when I came out here. Windward one. And it's kind of calming one. down a little bit. Windward one. Windward one. This is Bob in his sailing canoe. He's been doing quite well on the racing. Of course, he's an expert anyway. Well, the others are coming in. Should make it. There's a guy plowing into me. I'm sort of distracted on trying to get some video in uh, while I'm also racing. I'm doing it all single-handedly. <laughs> but I still am enjoying being out here today. Ooh, the wind's feeling pretty good right now. That's the dam that makes this lake a possibility. Sea Scouts boat. 
Hey, just bought a second one that's in the parking or the boat parking area. Bob and his sailing canoe built that. Uh, finished it, I think, just last year. So, this could be a little interesting as we uh, approach the mark. Oh my, what's gonna happen? I'm kind of in the middle of the pack here as we're heading to the finish line. Downwind, a little less exciting in some ways. Can't do a lot to go much faster, just kind of follow what the wind does. That's in front of me, and that's looking to the rear. Still another uh, boat that's working on that uh, first mark. Okay, I admit I'm pretty distracted by trying to video with my phone uh, while also trying to keep the course steady. <laughs> I keep kind of going a little off course, but I'm really just enjoying being out here. Since we're going on a straight downwind, trying to get the sails out to either side, wing on wing, just to catch as much air as I can. I just added a um, a ladder, a boarding ladder to my sailboat, and today was the first chance I had to use it. The water felt great, and it was really nice having the assurance that there's a way to climb back on board if the worst kind of things happen. I tend to forget to raise the centerboard when I'm doing a run downwind. I finally did it. I think it makes a difference, actually. Well, I told you I'm not a real efficient sailor. Well, that completed our first race. A few more folks will come in. We'll start up for another race when that happens. Well, I had a better start this time. Pretty close to the, uh, oops, gotta go behind this guy. There we go. This guy in a Flying Scott tends to uh, win the races. It's, it's a racing boat, it does really quite well. And boats are kind of jostling around, finding a place and getting going. And Bob in his little racing canoe pulls ahead. <laughs> Thought I should be a little bit more attentive to my sailing and uh, bearings and such on this particular race. Had a good start, so maybe I'm doing well today. The uh, mark is right there. making it hard to get past this point. I had to keep tacking and then the wind kind of steadies down to nothing. We'll try it again. Well, where I was in the middle of the pack, I just can't get around this darn mark. And everyone has just continued on. Still no luck. Ugh. Hardly any movement. Just sort of drifting. Well, sooner or later, I'll see if I can get one more tack to get around it. Very slow drama. Hardly, hardly moving, but I think I'm gonna finally clear it. Well, this was a bit of frustration for me. And everyone else pretty much is gone. And it's just still, still, still. Hardly any movement on the water. Yep, it's pretty well calmed out. Uh, I'll get across the line eventually. And I've actually passed these guys somehow. Don't know how that would have happened. But everyone else is pretty much, I think, heading in. It's a beautiful night. I've enjoyed it. And um, too bad the wind just sort of disappeared.